y'all I'm Adriana thanks for checking out my channel so I'm going to be talking about the new Miss A brushes that have recently come out um, they came out with one set um, maybe like in January and then they came out with the second set um, a few weeks ago so I wanted to just go ahead and combine the videos together for you guys so yeah that's what I'm gonna do so if you're interested in these brushes from Miss A that are really inexpensive then please keep watching Okay guys, so if you don't know what Miss A is, it's just a store, a makeup brand store um, that specializes in very inexpensive makeup. Most of the things that they sell are a dollar. Some of it goes a little bit over a dollar, but it's overall really inexpensive. It's a really fun place to shop um, just to try stuff out. If you're new with makeup and you want to try stuff out but you don't want to like go and buy expensive stuff to practice on. Miss A is a really, really good place to start off with. So, definitely, I definitely recommend you check out their website. I will leave it in the description below. And you can also check out their stores that are in the Dallas area. It's super fun to shop in the store. Just saying. So, I'm probably going to go back and do a haul pretty soon of some stuff that I'm going to pick up. Because I'm planning on going to the store pretty soon. So, one of my subscribers had an idea that I think follow up on so yeah but anyway let's get into the brushes okay so this is the first set that they came out with which was like beginning of the year so this is from the AOA studio and it comes with a brush roll so this set was ten dollars which is amazing like ten dollars for a full brush set is really really amazing so it comes with a brush roll all a brush roll also which is like even more amazing because like they're already inexpensive plus you're gonna throw in like a little holding place for them so this is really good for traveling so your brushes don't get all crazy so here is the roll very nice and then you lift the flap and here are all your brushes so it is a mix of face brushes and then eye brushes you have five face brushes and five eye brushes so I'm gonna go ahead and go through what each brush is my camera is about to die so I'm like this is the F21 brush. Ooh, you guys, this brush is so nice. Okay, so this is what it's for. It's the plush face brush. It's a large fluffy brush. Perfect for dusting off all types of face powders. So that is what I've been using it for. Um, it's like after I bake, I kind of just like use this to dust, you know, everything off, all the bake off. So I really like this. I really like this brush in particular. It just feels like nice and hefty like feels good feels nice in my hand um overall like the design of the brushes i'm like so in love with them i like the black it's very sleek and then you have the pink print here the pink writing or whatever you want to call it um i just think that's really cute really doesn't look like any of the brushes that i have in my collection so very cute okay and then next is the not that brush the f22 so this is the f22 so it's uh the plush angled brush great for contouring and precision blending so yes i have been using this for contour this is really really good for contour actually i usually use my luxie large angled brush i'm not sure what it's called exactly but this brush is actually really, really nice. I was really surprised because I have kind of a hard time finding angled brushes that I really like. So I was really impressed with this one. Definitely have been using it a lot and I think I'll definitely continue to be using it a lot. Okay, so the next one is the F23 and it's this flat top one here. So this is the flat top foundation brush, perfect for seamless application of liquid cream or powder foundations. So, um, I haven't been using this for a foundation just because I don't really use brushes like this for my foundation. I feel like it's a little bit too soft to, you know, take the foundation. I feel like it'll like soak it all in. So, um, I've just been kind of using this to like blend stuff or like blot some powder here if I need to for like touch-ups or whatever. So that's really what I've been using this brush for but it is a foundation brush next is the f24 this is the plush blush brush plush blush plush blush 
brush, brush. Uh, so it's a go-to brush for flaw flawless application of cream or powder blush. So it's just a blush brush. Um, nothing amazing. It's like, an, you know, I'm not crazy about blush or blush brushes. So t for me, blush is just like a really quick application. But it does apply it nicely. It blends it really nice. So it's not just like a splotch of blush on your cheek. So that's nice. Next is this F26. 25. So this is the plush highlighting brush. Applies and blends out cream or powder highlight for a subtle or blinding shine. So I have been using this a lot for my highlight, obviously. So I'm just going to put some on real quick because I think I forgot to put my top layer. Just so you guys can see it in action, I suppose. I like, overall I think I blend my highlighters like I'm always mixing my highlighters I don't just stick to one highlight so yeah I really like this brush for highlight okay and then I have the E135 this is the eye blending brush easily blends out eyeshadow and concealer um concealer I don't know if I would use this to blend out concealer but um, I was using it in my crease. I really like this. It really feels good and fluffy in there. And it really blends the stuff in, the shadows in, to my crease. Um, mainly so for my crease. It's just a normal crease brush. Nothing wild. And then I have the E136. This is the tapered blending brush. Great for diffusing the crease and blending shadows. So yeah, I just use this to like kind of focus on the outer corners of my eye. Um, and I feel like it blends it in very nicely. And then here's the E137. This is the shader brush for a firm yet soft blended application of shadows or concealers. Um, so it's a little bit fluffy for my taste in um, packing brushes. It's just a little bit too fluffy. Do I use it? Yeah, I still am going to use it. Um, it's just a tad bit too fluffy. And here's the E138. That is the detail shader, accurate blending of any small or detailed shadow placement. So yes, I actually did use this today, like the black here, because I kind of messed up on my right eye. So I was really using this a lot to kind of like try and blend in those like small little corners. So yeah, it actually really was good for that. And then the last brush is the E139, and it is a smudge brush, and it's ideal for smoking out your water or lash line or adding a pop of color in your inner corner. So I've actually been using this as a packing brush more than that, but I think maybe I should use it for what it's telling me to use it for, because I wasn't crazy about how it was applying. I should probably listen to the directions and use this for you know what it was telling me to do i think it would probably work better like that than what i was trying to use it for Whew. but yeah i really really like this brush set for ten dollars honestly you cannot go wrong this is a great brush set for beginners for i mean even if you just like love makeup i just love brushes i love having all kinds of brushes because i'm a lazy brush cleaner so i don't like cleaning my brushes all the time so, you know, having all kinds of brushes that are just sitting there is ideal for me. I'm always, like, looking for brushes, for good brushes, but also at the same time, I don't want to pay top dollar for, like, simple brushes. But anyway, these are really, really nice. I so recommend these, like, ooh, I recommend them completely. Um, I have not had any problems with, like, shedding or, you know, anything like that. I think they're really, really nice for the price like I don't even know how they do it some of the brushes from Miss A are better than brushes that I've paid $20 per brush for so I just really recommend that whether you're a beginner whether you are you know a pro or whatever you just those are really nice brushes you can't go wrong for the price they're just really nice like I said I haven't had any kind of problems with them um, not feeling cheap or like anything like that so totally recommend those so next is this fun little set so this is the eye set the eye brush set that they just came out with so it also comes with a little keepsake holder 
for your brushes. It says AOA Studio. It's cute and pink, which is, it looks cute on my vanity. And then, so this is also great for travel. That way your brushes are secure. And if it's like shaking around, you know, they're in here. But, I mean, you can also just like put your brushes on your vanity and it'll look real cute. I've actually been holding the black ones in here also just because... They, it looks cute. So here are the brushes. They are, you can tell they're totally used. Um, I was doing a lot of looks with these. So, yeah. Don't mind me. I need to wash them soon. Um, that's my only issue with white brushes is that it just, I don't like how they look when they're dirty. <laughs> they just, they look very like, ah! So I'm going to go ahead and get into the brushes and letting you guys know my thoughts on them. So I'm not going to go and order like the other ones just because they're kind of everywhere and I don't know which ones are which like I do the other ones. So, okay, so this is the E134. It's a really, really small brush. So this is the pink pencil crease brush, perfect for smoking out water or lash light and intensifying the crease. So I did use this for like under my waterline today to kind of like add some of that black and I really like it. It's really nice for like small tight areas that you want to be really precise with. Really, really like this. I did have like a few hairs that were kind of like sticking out. And they were really bothering me so I had to like pluck them out but nothing crazy. This is the E131 brush. And this is the pink flat concealer brush applies concealer primers or great for packing on eyeshadow. So that is what I have been using it for is for eyeshadow. Um, I just like those flat, you know, brushes that I feel like I can just, I just like these a lot better than like fluffy, fluffier like packing brushes. I just like these a lot more. So that is what I was using this for was for some green on my lid. Okay. And then this is the E126. This is the pink large blending brush, oversized fluffy blending brush used to diffuse eyeshadow or apply highlight. Um, I would not apply highlight with this. So this did have some shedding that I just pulled out. So every time I do that, hairs are coming out. So that's not good. Yo, this one is like the first one I've come across that is like, I'm just like, what? Okay, it stopped. Hopefully it stopped like for good. That wasn't fun. Um, so I would just really use this for blending. I would not use this for highlight. I think it's just a little bit too little. I don't think it gives me like a big enough blend for it to be for a highlight brush. Um, so yeah, just in the crease area, would I use this? Um, I'm just, I haven't used this one. So that's why I was like with the shedding, I was like, bitch, what the fuck? Um, so yeah, I don't know. That's the only one I've come across that has done that though. Let's see this one. This is the E129. So this one isn't doing it either. It's just that one. That's weird. So this is the pink flat shader brush controlled application of eyeshadow on the lid and great for blending the crease. Um, yeah, I'm kind of confused as to what this brush is kind of for. I would not use this to apply eyeshadow. It's way too fluffy. Um, but it's at, at the same time, it's like a little bit too flat to like use as a blending brush. I don't know. I was kind of confused with this one. Haven't used it yet. Maybe it's just me. I'm just being weird. It's like in the middle and it's kind of like, what do I use this for? You know what I mean? And here's this one. This is the E127, the pink tapered blending. Perfect for blending out crease and outer eyeshadow. So that is what I used it for, was to blend in my crease. It worked pretty good. Um, is it the best blending brush in the world? No, but it's nice. It does the job and it was blending out pretty good. I didn't have to like be crazy in there like, ah. So it's a nice brush. It's cute. It's, it's a simple blending brush. Okay, next is the E125. And that is the pink angled blending brush. Blend out crease or apply color onto lid. So I did use this. I don't remember what I used this for. But it's very, it's a fluffy angled brush though. Um, I guess I would use this like on the outer corner of my eye. I don't remember what I used this for. But there's shadow on here. I feel like with fluffy brushes, when you try to apply like the lid shadow, it's just, it kind of like eats it up. It like 
the brush eats it eats the shadow up and it doesn't transfer onto the lid the way I want it to so that's my issue with fluffy brushes and trying to use them to pack on color to the lid so um, and then this is the E130 Whew. this is the pink medium blending brush blends that I show effortlessly with more precision so this one does have more precision you are just going to kind of it is kind of to like get in there and let's blend so I did use this today for the brown shade that I laid down first what I use for my transition shade so I like this brush a lot I think it blends it out I think it blends out the shadow in the crease really really nicely I'm um, definitely going to be using this a lot more. It's a really, really nice blending brush. I like how it's, you know, stiff, but it's not like overly stiff and it's still fluffy at the same time. Those are my favorite kinds of blending brushes. So, yeah, really, really liking this one. Um, and then this is the E133. It's the pink brow spoolie brush helps fill in brows and achieve arch perfection. So you just have your spoolie to brush out your brows and then you have the angled brush of angled brush over here. So I did try to do my brows with this and it just was not working out for me. I think it's just not flat enough for me to do my brows with. It's just it was kind of getting all over the place for me. I don't know. I just I feel like my Sephora Pro 20 brush is like the perfect brow brush for me so I don't feel like I'm ever gonna find another brow brush that's going to come near it or replace it I don't know this definitely wasn't it um I would just use this for maybe like little things for like cutting my crease or something but I would not use this for my eyebrows it's just mm. next is the E132 the little small brush this is the pink small blending brush blends out eyeshadow with extreme detail for those hard to reach areas. So I did use this um, a few days ago to pack on another blue shade, which is why it's blue. Um, so yeah, it's a nice blue color. I mean, it's a nice cute little shadow brush to kind of blend out, you know, little areas that you're like, oh, that are kind of stubborn and you kind of want something more small and precise. This one's really good for that. And last is E128. I used this one a lot today. So this is the pink mini tapered blending brush. Blends out inner and outer corner area with precise blending. So I did use this for the outer black on my eyes today. Um, so yeah, it was really, really nice in blending and helping me like get all those little areas. So I really, really liked this brush. This was probably the brush that I've used the most out of this set. Um, because I was just like, oh, getting in there. And I'm, like I said, I messed up on this eye, so I was like getting kind of crazy. So yeah. But anyway, really, really like this. All the brushes. So overall, my take on the eye set brushes is they're nice brushes. I always like to get eyeshadow brushes just because I feel like I can never have too many, which is probably not true. But I like to tell myself that. But... I just like having a lot of eyeshadow brushes to like, oh, let me grab this over here, let me grab it over here, oh, oh, I need one of these, and I need one of these. So I just have to like, I just like to have a lot of options, that's my thing. But yeah, if um, you can, I would totally suggest to get both. Um, the pink eyeshadow brushes also go to some kind of like animal foundation or charity, something like that. If you want to learn more about that, you can check out their website. When you click on here, you can go down to the bottom of the page and it has like a little banner so you can click on so you can find out more about where that money is going to so the pink set is $10.55 and then the black set is $10 so together that's like $20.55 which I think is really really good for 20 brushes it's a dollar a brush basically the 55 cents from this set goes to like I said the animal charity or whatever so I definitely recommend you go check that out if Okay, I would definitely just say to buy both sets. I think they're both really nice sets, but if you were like on the fence to which one to get, then I would say to go with the black ones because it's both a face and eye set together. And it's just because I feel like those are a little bit more practical and I feel like those brushes are just a little bit nicer. Okay, y'all, my bad. My battery died. I had to go charge that bitch real quick. So, all right. As I was saying, go buy these brushes. They're really cute. So, yeah. 
so this is how I usually have them. They're just really cute. Those are the brushes. I hope you guys go buy them. Let them know I sent you. Just kidding. There's no way you can let them know I sent you. But anyway, I keep getting sidetracked. So, yeah. Thank you guys so Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up. That really helps a girl out. And also remember to subscribe to my channel and get some more of me. Um, so uh, these past few weeks have been kind of crazy. I'm planning um, a very last minute vacation, planning on some concerts. Uh, I've been working my ass off. So that's why I haven't been posting onto my channel. That plus I had filmed a video for this. This is like a very overdue video. So I don't even know when I'm going to do it. I'm probably going to do it when the next restock of this product comes out. Because it's kind of irrelevant right now. Because I just waited so damn long. But anyway. Um, what was I saying? Uh, and so I filmed that. But I just didn't like the footage. I didn't like how I looked. So I just had to like erase it all. And it was just really frustrating. So, I'm trying, um, I think after, probably after my birthday, I'll try and, like, get on a better schedule, and I'm going to try and start posting twice a week, because once a week is just so restricting, like, there's so much stuff coming out in the makeup world that it's like, oh, I gotta do this, and I gotta do that, and oh my gosh, I gotta do this, and I gotta do that, and, but at the same time, I do have a normal job, and it's very exhausting to you know get off of work and then get ready do my makeup do all this and film it's just really really exhausting and tiring so I'm trying my best um, because I really enjoy doing this but if I'm in my a sometimes that's just why I just it's kind of hard but I'm trying my darndest so we'll see but yeah. so yeah, I think that's it. Um, I hope I see you next time. <laughs> Bye.